Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Shelly Bortz. Right now an investigation is underway after a scooter exploded catching fire inside a Point Park University dorm early Saturday. Tonight we're hearing from the student who lives inside that dorm. Alexandra Todd is live in Pittsburgh to tell us more about what exactly happened. Good evening, Alexandra. Hey Shelly, yeah, this could have been a lot worse. Luckily and thankfully, firefighters arrived on the scene and put it out quickly, but it does make you second guess the safety and storage of electric scooters. Aiden McFarland woke up in his apartment on Point Park's campus full of smoke and seeing flames Saturday morning. He explains how his first instinct was to grab water to put it out. Something woke me up that morning and I heard like the sound of sizzling like firecrackers on the 4th of July and I instantly turn I live in the studio so I turn around in my bed and I see the color orange so in my head the instant thought is get water put it on fire since it was an electrical fire the flames grew larger McFarland then reached for his phone and called his mom on what to do next he was um screaming in the background mom there's a fire there's a fire I can't get it out I don't know what to do, and I don't think that's a call that any parent ever wants to get. She said to call 911, and they both reached out for help. He called me first. That's not the way it's supposed to be. That's not the way this works. And what I learned is that many people call the person that they think would help them the most instead of calling 911. Luckily, fire crews and other first responders were there in minutes to get the situation under control. Electric scooters have been banned at other Pennsylvania universities because of this reason. Aiden's mother mentioned her daughter's school at Villanova decided to get rid of them on campus. At the beginning of, of the school year, they had sent a notice to parents and students that scooters or electric bikes or scooters of any kind would not be allowed on campus because of these fires that have been happening. The McFarland family hopes this freak accident brings awareness to other students and electric scooter owners. So that just scares me for anyone who even just has a normal scooter that's just charging in their apartment because my scooter that wasn't even being used for over a month, didn't even get plugged in for over a month, caused all this damage. Well, yesterday was a good reminder to always call 911 in any emergency first. And Aiden's mother did purchase him a fire smothering blanket to keep in his dorm room for the future. In downtown Pittsburgh, Alexandra Todd, KDK TV News.